Welcome to Massive Late Fee. And now your hosts, Mark and Carol. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Massive Late Fee. My name is Mark. With me as always is my lovely, beautiful, talented girlfriend, Carol. How are you doing today, Carol? Hey, what's up? Not much. It's been a good week here. It is... What is it, Carol? It's... March 29th, 1997. Mm, okay. <laughs> I, I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, sure. it is. Okay. It is. Okay. So, we've, uh, we've had an interesting week here, right? Always. It's yeah. always interesting here. We went to the mall. Yep. We said, let's go to the mall today. <laughs> and we had some fun there. We did. We ate at uh, Olga's. and Olga's Kitchen. Had snackers. Yeah, those of you that are familiar with Olga. Is Olga's everywhere? Olga's is then like a Midwest thing? or I don't know. I mean, like, I mean, I always go to the one in Oakland Mall, but I don't mm. know if it's anywhere else, honestly. Olga's. And we went to Claire's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we went to Claire's. We went to, saw a lot of people getting their ears pierced. Yep. Little girls, little happy girls getting their ears pierced. Yeah, it was Saying, fun. like, it hurts. That hurt. Mm, that hurt. <laughs> but then saying, like, oh, my ears, like, my ears look cute. There were babies crying. They got their ears pierced. I think that's weird. Uh, it is weird when babies get their ears pierced. Why would you do that to your baby? I don't know. I don't like it. Mm-mm. I think about what? Eight or so? That's yeah. probably the age to get your ears pierced. That's when I first got my ears I pierced. That's so. the perfect age to get your ears pierced. But yeah, so that's yeah. what we did. Yeah, we also saw a movie. We did see a movie. We're we not, did. We're not going to talk about that right yet, but <laughs> we did see a movie. The highly anticipated third installment of the Star Wars trilogy. Which was cool to see on the big screen. I love Ewoks. Ewoks make me happy. Yeah. And I got to see big Ewoks. (laughs) What? Big Ewoks. Well, I mean, they're so cute and fluffy, but. That should have been on the poster. Big Ewoks. (laughs) Uh, No, so there's some interesting things, I think, to talk about about the Star Wars movies. I've enjoyed seeing the Star Wars movies again. Uh, and, oh, yeah. and seeing them on the big screen for the first time for the 20th anniversary. Uh, I feel almost kind of bad doing them for, for our show here. Why? Because I feel like, except for the first one, where there was a lot of changes that I didn't realize that were going to be made. The second one, there wasn't as many changes. There were some changes in this third one. Okay. But there, there's not a lot to talk about. People have talked about them a lot there's been a lot of things out there about Star Wars in general. I kind of feel like we're just sort of going over the same ground with them a little bit. So what I kind the of fuck? what? I mean, like, way to set us up for uh, failure here. We haven't even recorded the episode, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah there's not much to talk about. We're in the about. middle of recording the episode. <laughs> I know, and you're shitting all over it. No, I'm not saying it's going to be bad. I'm just saying. I think it's a little more interesting to the listeners when we talk about new movies. However, I have been enjoying seeing these movies. And, of course, it's all in anticipation of what George Lucas is going to give us with the prequel trilogy that he's planning. Apparently, the fir- that first movie of the prequel trilogy is coming out around two years from now, 1999. So- I'm scared. Are you scared? No, I'm 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 pumped. I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm I'm scared they're gonna like not be as cool as the originals, and then like, what do we do? You know? What are you insane? How? How would they not be as good as the? Oh my god! Um, they're because like when you keep making sequels to movies, they start to suck. This is totally different, though. This is a totally different thing. We'll see. Yeah, this is. I. I mean. We all want to see what, where, you know, Darth Vader, Skywalker, where'd they come from? Obi-Wan Kenobi, young. (laughs) Young, hot Obi-Wan Kenobi? Come on. You don't know if he's going to be hot. Alex Guinness was hot when he was younger. Okay, but it's not Alex Guinness. No, he's dead. Exactly. (laughs) A lot of them are dead. Peter Cushing died uh, a couple years ago, too, so, yeah. 
But some of them are still around. The dude that plays Peter May- Mayhew, who does Chewbacca, he's still alive. David Prowse is still alive. Okay. He was the body. James Earl Jones is still alive. He could do the voice of, of uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> but I guess we probably... Harrison Ford is still alive. That's true. And um, but it's a... uh, what's her face? Leia. <laughs> Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher uh, and uh, the guy that plays Luke. Marks and Hamill. Yeah. See, they're all still alive. We, Are they going to be in these movies, though? I Probably doubt, not. I doubt it, because there's their, their prequels. They're going to be before before the movies that we saw. So, you know, probably not. Yeah. But it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool to see. I'm very excited for it. It's probably, I think, it's my the thing I'm excited for the most. And maybe 1999 is going to be a good year in movies, because... Star Wars. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Da, 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 I mean, it's da. only 1997 right now. We can't be talking about 1999. Why? Because we, we have got a, party a lot like it's 1999. of things to do. Party like it's 1999. <laughs> like the movie we're going to see this week, you know, I'm excited for too. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. We're going to see just a little preview for all you, you people. Kevin uh, Kevin Smithson came out with a... Uh, Smithson? I believe that's his full last name. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Uh, no, Kevin Smith came, is, uh, came out with a new movie, his, his third feature film. I'm so excited. It's See, called, that's something I'm excited about. It's called Chasing Amy. Yeah, so... So, but you know, chasing my sister. You're talking about how people shouldn't be excited, I guess, about old movies, but like, remember our, one of our first episodes was The Breakfast Club. Yeah, I believe that was our third episode. And that Go back was, and find our third episode, The Breakfast Club, everyone. And that was fun to talk about. I yeah, mean, yeah. People have talked about stuff, sure, but it's like, you know, we might have other stuff to say. That's true. You might have some, some deep insights into Return of the Jedi. Or I might just want to talk about how cute the fucking Ewoks are. The but o- Ewoks, that's yeah. That's fine and okay. But speaking of cute, speaking of fun, because I don't have any news this week, and... Don't worry. I'm going to scour through the newspaper. We'll, we'll get some news next week. I decided to uh, bring a little abbreviated version of Massive Love. Yay! I've got some, some Massive Love for you. Just two today. Okay. So we can dive into them a little bit more deeply if you want to. Uh, but the first one is uh, Affluent, Generous, Oakland County Businessman, 51 Seeks short, petite, white female, 18 to 40, non-smoker, for a discreet relationship, everything top class. So, basically, he wants somebody to call him daddy. I guess so, yeah. Because he just wants her to be tiny, and he wants to pay for everything. Yeah, he's affluent, generous, and he's in Oakland County, one of the richest counties in the country. Is it really? I didn't realize that. Yep. Yeah, what about Orange County? Short and petite. <laughs> yeah, Orange County's up there, too. Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Orange County is richer than Oakland County. Okay, probably, yes. It's Oakland County is where we live. Right. Uh, but he wants a discreet relationship. Everything top class, though, Carol. What do you think that means? Um, that means that he's going to... The fanciest get hotels by the hour. Top shelf liquor to get her <laughs> panties off. <laughs> But I think it's weird that, you know, he he's like, hey, I'm rich and you got to be tiny. Yeah, that's what he likes. It's gross. <laughs> and he's 51. Maybe he's got to, yeah, and she needs to be 18 to 40. Yeah, so she needs to be at least a decade younger than him. I'm telling you, he's got some kind of fucking, like, daddy complex thing going on. He's got a small penis and he wants a girl that's never seen a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'd be like, "This one's big. This is what they. This is what they call big in the industry." <laughs> it's like, "Oh, okay." Uh call him daddy. Ugh. Yeah, it's gross to me. Me too. It's like, what does that mean? So, like, uh, I, I've heard of it before. You know, like uh, the daddy thing in the bedroom and everything. But it's like when you call a guy daddy, um, does that mean that uh, that's your daughter? <laughs> I mean, like, I think the idea is that there's they're calling him daddy because he takes care of them. It's but weird, it's though. gross. It's a weird confluence of 
sexuality and like paternity. Yeah. It's those are different relationships. They don't mix those things. You don't hear about guys being like, oh, what's up, mommy? You know, it's stuff like that. You know what I mean? That sounds creepy, right? Right. It's, yeah. I have had like a couple guys say, come sit on daddy's lap before. Yeah. I don't like it. It's gross. Yeah. I don't like it at all. I don't like that. (laughs) So just in case y'all were wondering, we don't like daddy. All right. Anyway, (laughs) uh, single black female, five, six. 110 pounds, so she's fairly short and petite. 5'6 five, five, six six is, is tall yeah, for a woman. Yeah, I guess that's kind of tall for she's a She's just very thin because she only weighs 110 pounds and she's tall. Single black female, 5'6", 110 pounds, seeking single male, 32 to 46, who enjoys movies, cuddling, most anything within reason. <laughs> I'm not desperate. Race open, <laughs> smoker okay. So she must smoke. <laughs> I guess. And race is open, too. But I love that who enjoys movies cuddling most anything within the race. Right. <laughs> She's like, I just want to get laid. You want to swallow swords? It's fine. You have a bug collection? I'm down. We got to go bungee jumping on the first dates. Yeah. Have you seen that? Like the, the extreme game stuff and everything? They, they do bungee jumping and shit. Extreme game stuff? Yeah, you know, like, um, they'll do... So... The Tony Hawk and all that stuff with mm-hmm. the skateboarding and the snowboarding and well, they do some other stuff too. I think dirt biking's part of it too, or whatever. Yeah, but not on a first date. Bungee jumping. I wouldn't want to do any of that shit ever. Cliff but, diving, you know, especially on a first date. Cliff diving's an awesome sport. I think something where you might pee yourself in front of somebody should be at least a third date. I heard about it one time. A guy broke up with a girl on a um, roller coaster. Ever hear about that? Mm, tell me. He was uh, this this guy, uh, this guy and this girl were on the roller coaster, and he didn't want to go on the roller coaster. He was super scared and everything. And in the middle of the roller coaster, I heard this story from the girl later. In the middle of the roller coaster, uh, this guy's like, "I want to break up." He's like, "No, I want to do this." And then, then like they're going down the first hill or whatever. He's like, "I, I want to break up. I think we should we should break up." What the she fuck? She was like, "Why?" She's like, "Are you serious?" He's like, yeah, we need to break up. And then, like, you know, he was like, I mean, obviously, it took all the enjoyment of the roller coaster away from her. Right. But then they they go through the rest of the ride. They stop. And she's like, are you being serious? And he's like, yeah, I think we should break up. That's messed up. They broke up. Why would you break somebody's heart on a roller coaster? It's literally like two minutes. (laughs) Like, you can't wait two minutes. Seriously. That's like, uh, that's like breaking up in the middle of sex. Right? For this guy, also two minutes, apparently, from what I heard. <laughs> she was not happy with him afterwards. Uh, all the secrets came out. Um, Usually but, happens. But yeah, no no good, right? Yeah. That's a shitty-ass thing to do. I mean, I guess you'd have to wonder why. Heartbreak in Cedar Point. There must have been a reason. I'm sure he wasn't just like randomly like i'm gonna be mean well i think that he probably was wanting to break up for a while and i think just it was that extreme emotion it just like brought it out or whatever yeah i guess sounds like a douche i think that um in his defense i think she forced him to do a lot of things he wanted to including going on this roller coaster yeah well i mean that makes a little bit of sense i guess then but she's a nice girl is she now she was yeah is she not nice anymore? I don't know. I don't know her anymore. Good. I started dating you, so then I, I don't get to talk to uh, <laughs> old, old friends that I had that were girls anymore. <laughs> That's right. Keep me locked in the closet. He's mine, bitches. <laughs> anyway, speaking of little bitches, uh, Luke Skywalker's in the movie. <laughs> no, I mean, Luke's cool. We, um, we watched, uh, aforementioned, we watched The Return of the Jedi, I believe is how you say it. Sure. And is that plural, singular? Like, are they when they say Return of the Jedi, do they mean Luke? Or do they mean Return of the Jedi as in, like, Jedi is, means more than one? Too. Well, considering Jedis? Leia is also a Jedi, Ooh. I think it's plural. Is she a Jedi, though? Well, he said that she could use the Force like he could. And she kind of does, because she's like, mm. Because Han's like, yeah, I'm sure that Luke's not dead. And she's like, mm. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I can feel it. Yeah. All, all of a sudden, she's got it. But 
Okay. So, we saw it. It was great. It's my favorite of the movies. I know it's not the best, but it's my Says favorite. who? That's ridiculous. It is the best. I love it. It's consensus probably not the best, but it's my favorite of all of the movies. It's like the least boring. I was at the right age when this movie came out, and I was, you know, younger. I was it like hit me at the exact right time. If mm-hmm. I was a little bit older, and you know, when the original Star Wars came out, then you know, maybe I'd feel different. But it hit me right at the exact age, and it's just and the the cuteness of the the Ewoks. They, I was open to it at the age that I was when this movie came out. And a lot of people who were, say, like 16 in 1977, mm-hmm. when the six years later, they're 22 years old, so when the Ewoks come on screen, I can see them being like, oh, this is kitty shit, oh, you know, or whatever. Like I can see people saying that, right? But for me, no. I loved it. I wanted an Ewok when I was a kid. But Ewoks, despite looking like teddy bears, are badass. And well, that's they, true. You know, they're like kind of scary little cannibals. So I don't really think that's kitty shit. Yeah, the, the Empire would have won if it weren't for the Ewoks. Yeah, they're and badass. They, they literally were able to club Stormtroopers to death. Yeah, with just their little spears. It was awesome. I like how the Stormtroopers have armor, and it's like, oh, but your armor's not going to be impenetrable to a homemade spear from a tiny teddy bear. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Like, what kind of cheap shit are they uh, using? The The Emperor spent all his money on two fucking Death Stars. Right. And he didn't have enough money to get better better armor for the, the Stormtroopers. Their suits are like aluminum cans. Exactly. Ridiculous. All, that's what they there are a bunch of tomato cans. <laughs> but so the the Ewoks they help destroy as you mentioned, not cannibals, but definitely meat eaters. Because mm-hmm. they were they capture everyone everyone's seen this. You guys know what happened. We don't have to recount recount the plot. But they they capture everybody and they're gonna they're gonna roast and eat Han Solo mm-hmm. in, in a banquet in C-3PO's honor. And then at the end, so we get that piece of information. At the end of the movie, there's a bunch of helmets from Stormtroopers <laughs> and stuff that they're like playing drums on and everything. They fucking ate those Stormtroopers. Oh, for sure. Like they killed and ate those people. <laughs> and they deserved it. <laughs> I guess. Because they're with the uh, Empire and the Dark Side and shit. That's right. They worked for the wrong boss. <laughs> but yeah, they... Uh, they definitely ate those stormtroopers, which I think is funny. Yeah, I'm okay so, with it. As you said, they they are kind of badass and mm-hmm. cute at the same time. And they're they're very jumpy though. I wonder what their lives are like. Like, <laughs> what? Well, I mean, before all this stuff happened, where all these people came to the moon of Endor. Yeah, like, that'd be weird, right? Like they're just living on this moon, and all of a sudden, the fucking like these giant animals just <laughs> land on. Them. But, I mean, like, it seems like they're used to being preyed on because they're very suspicious and, like, ready to fight all the time. Yeah, what else is on that planet? Yeah. I mean, there's the things that can kill and eat human beings. What else is on that planet? <laughs> we don't, or that moon, we don't see them. Yeah. But, jeez. It's so weird that they live on a moon and it looks like Earth. Yeah. I think that's actually probably just them being cheap. That the moon looks like Earth. They keep saying it's a forest moon. No, it's because you've shot it in a forest because right. you don't have the ability to make it look like a planet. So, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Planets can look like that, can't they, with forests? I don't know, but I mean, like, I, I don't think other planets look like Earth and they're, like, acting like all the planets are like Earth because that's where we are and they are cheap and they don't spend money on special effects. Not all the planets. <laughs> yeah, that's what the Star Wars... <laughs> Uh, franchise is known for is not spending money on special effects. Um, hello, like the fucking initial Death Star, and like that scene was filmed with like little tiny, like what do they call them? Like models, you know, miniatures, like miniatures yeah. and stuff. Like uh-huh. that wasn't expensive. What are you talking about? 
Okay, first, you're so wrong here. I love the look on your face, too, because you're like, oh, no, I said something wrong, and Mark's going to eviscerate me for it, but it's funny. Um, so the first one, they didn't put as much money in, sure. That's why they made so many changes, because he didn't, Lucas wanted to do other things that they didn't have the money to do. But they literally fucking invented techniques to show, to make this stuff. Like, it it totally holds up. It still looks amazing today, 20 years later, the special effects. You're just mm-hmm. wrong. And then in the other ones, in The Empire Strikes Back and, and this one, they spent a ton of money on special effects. Really? Yes. So you think that they just wanted it to be on a forest moon? I don't know. Maybe they thought they could save a little bit of money that way, I guess. I don't know. But, like, why couldn't there be a moon that has... what? Okay. What do you think it should look like? Like our moon. Barren and desolate? Yes. With no atmosphere, therefore no life can be on it. So how would that work? Yeah, okay. Like... Well, maybe there could be aliens that can breathe just space. (laughs) I think I killed him. He can't breathe. No, I mean, like, seriously, like, we breathe. breathe. (laughs) We we breathe space and we uh, we exhale gravity. (laughs) We breathe oxygen. Why do all the aliens also breathe oxygen? I, I don't know. I mean, I understand what you're saying. Yes, there are some aliens that maybe they could they could uh, breathe in uh, nitrogen or methane or or something like that. Sure. Like, where are their space helmets? They should have space helmets when they're visiting other planets. Those don't you think the stormtrooper helmets are probably work like space helmets? No. No. Okay. Do you really think that? I have no idea. I, I think they're just protective, and they make them all look the same because they're supposed to all be like the same. I'll bet you there's a fucking book somewhere that explains exactly all the stuff you're talking about because there's so many Star Wars books. Probably. But I I don't read any of them. No, me either. But yeah, I'm sure that, you know, there are probably lots of like dorks out there that like are all into Star Wars and they're like freaking out right now listening to this. Like, fuckers, get it right. Don't talk about shit you don't know. But you know what? We represent the common man. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the common man does not know the ins and outs of the moon of Endor. That's right. So the fact that I even know it's called the moon of Endor should be impressive to you people. Maybe they should they should have the Starship Enterprise come and, and orbit the moon <laughs> of Endor. That's the same thing, right? Sure. Yeah. Anyway, so... You just want them to, like, hunt us and kill us now. Right. Like the fucking Ewoks. <laughs> right. Which blink now, by the way. What? They blink. They Did didn't blink before? No. Weird. That's digitally in, That's digitally put in. They were like glassy-eyed before. Because they were just masks. Right? Okay. Because of how fucking cheap they were. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but now they're blinking. Hmm. They put in digital blinks. It's weird. That is weird. That seems wasteful. <laughs> I mean, I realized I was just complaining about the special yeah, effects, only, but... There's only so many blinks in the world. <laughs> they're wasting blinks. I mean, it just seems like a waste of time and energy to add blinks. <laughs> Well, George Lucas wants him to blink. All right. Anyway, so uh, what was the other thing we were going to talk about? Oh, yeah, yeah. My favorite scene in the entire, in all of the three movies of the Star Wars trilogy. Hmm. The scene where uh, Luke and Leia have a conversation and talk about how he's her sister. And then he's her sister. She's his sister. There you go. And then Han Solo comes up and is like, oh, you could. You know, who could you tell? Could you tell Luke and whatever? Yeah, he's all jealous. Yeah. You know the scene I'm talking about, though. Yes. Okay. Of course. Let's let's talk about it. Okay. It's the scene where, like, you just described, like, what else do you want? So you don't remember what we said about it after the, like, we got out of the theater, huh? That it's like a fucking bad soap opera. Oh, the acting was terrible, yes. There you go. Okay, so <laughs> don't tell them about it. Well, no, it's just like everybody's talking with like like no real emotion and it's, it's the like the most stilted I've ever seen. Forced and like weird and good actors and just bad. It's not good dialogue, but just bad 
bad performances. I mean, I kind of wonder if uh, Carrie Fisher was stoned because I hear she likes her pot. Yeah, well, and other things. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> she's just like, uh, he's like, it's you, Leia. <laughs> You're my sister. I know. Somehow. I've always known. They're all Keanu Reeves. That's it. That's yeah, and that's scene. <laughs> they're all Keanu Reeves. You're right. It is weird. She should have been like, "Whoa!" And when she said, I'm "I have always sister? known," it makes me want to slap her in the fucking face because it's like, then why did you kiss your brother like that, Twice. you freak? Twice, right? Gross. Weird. And Han's like relieved and shit when she says he's my brother, you know, and she's like laughing at him. But you can see this minute on his face is like a couple seconds or whatever where I think he was thinking about it. He's picturing that kiss. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's just like, oh, well. <laughs> no, but it, that, it is weird, too, because she says it like he should know, mm-hmm. which is ridiculous. Yeah. And then at what point, like, how, isn't he, he's got to be like, what are you talking about? Have you always known that he was your brother? Why didn't you guys ever tell me that? What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, it's very weird. The whole thing's weird. And, like, she was a princess. Mm -hmm. I'd be pissed if I were uh, Luke, wouldn't you? (laughs) Yeah, it's like, okay, so we've got to separate these two so that Darth Vader and the Emperor can't find them. Uh, Let's take this one to uh, Royal Palace. She'll uh, grow up in the lap of luxury and be a princess. Throw this one in the fucking dirt, okay? Right, Throw them at a fucking desert planet. The sand people can deal with it. <laughs> what the We fuck? mean Star Wars sand people, not... Uh... Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? We're not making any uh, any slurs. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> but, yeah, so that is, uh, that is funny. With Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen. But, I mean, are they really his aunt and uncle? Who the fuck knows? I don't know. I kind of wonder. I mean, it seems like if they're trying to hide him, they wouldn't send him to his aunt and uncle. Right. Plus, plus how... uh, Yeah, that would mean that either Baru or Owen is Darth Vader's brother or sister. Or it could be the mom's brother or sister, whoever the mom is. We don't really know. What mom? Uh, Luke and Leia's mom. Oh... So we don't really know oh, who she is. Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess that's true. Leia says that she knew her, though, or that she saw her. She died when she was young. Remember, he asked So, her. okay, so the mom stayed with her? Then how were they hiding? Yeah, I don't know. Plus, Obi-Wan Kenobi is going into hiding, and he chooses the pseudonym of Ben Kenobi. Yeah, that's really not very good hiding. Yeah, they did not look hard for these people <laughs> at and all. And he's supposed to be able to fucking sense them? I don't... Right. Yeah, he's like, oh, I can, I can feel my son. Well, then why didn't you feel him ten years ago? Yeah, if not in a gross way. If your wife is, <laughs> <laughs> if your wife is still alive, uh, and with your daughter, how come you can't at least, even if you didn't know about the kids? How and how do you not know about the kids? How do you get? Oh, so okay. Oh man, this is like a fucking episode of Mori or something like that. So he got Darth Vader got. Some girl pregnant. Right. Didn't maybe didn't realize it, like it was a one night stand. And then she went into hiding. I mean, that must have that must be how maybe it is. Maybe he raped her. Oh my god. I don't think Star Wars would go that dark. Will we find out any of the answers to these questions when they do the prequel series? Well, I sure hope so. Now now I'm interested. Now we've got all these questions. Now I'm interested. Vader. Who was he? <laughs> He turned into, like, Oprah for a second. <laughs> Who was he, baby? <laughs> what made him tick? <laughs> he turned good at the end, so... Yeah, I love that, too. That's the atheist on his deathbed, being like, oh, but I really believe, though. I'm a good person now. It's like, uh... He's like, yeah, I did one thing. <laughs> I ch- like, I-, I killed a bunch of people and stuff like that. I strangled uh, Imperial guys to death. I killed a bunch of rebels. Destroyed a whole planet. Yep, exactly. 
genocided an entire fucking race of people, but at the end I did one good thing, and he fucking gets to go to Jedi heaven. He yeah. gets to appear in in blue silhouette or whatever, blue effects next to Alec Guinness and that puppet of Yoda. It's weird. I mean, maybe he was super good before he turned evil or something. I don't maybe know. Maybe it wasn't just the end. Maybe it was the beginning, too. And yeah, we only know about the middle. Right. I don't know. But the, it's ridiculous. We'll see. Oh, that was funny, too, to me. What? The That he goes to Jedi Heaven. I noticed so many more things than I, when I watched as a kid. But, I mean, I love the... The beginning is really cool, obviously, where they free Han Solo. Yeah. And I love the ending. The third act is like my favorite third act, I think, maybe in any movie, where you've got the lightsaber battle going on. You've got the battle on Endor with the Ewoks and, and Han Solo and everything. Yay, Ewoks. And then you've got Lando and the space battle, like the with the battle in space with um, the Death Star and everything. Yeah, see, I don't pay attention to that. The, the anything that's like war or politics, meh. You're oh, so okay. weird. <laughs> like you just what did you just black out during those parts? <laughs> Basically, and then your brain somehow knew Ewoks were on the screen. I have, <laughs> I have like selective focus, and um, when it's boring, my mind just wanders to something else, so it's not boring anymore. And hey, that's how come boring. sometimes you get a glazed look in your eyes when I talk? <laughs> no reason at all. <laughs> you look like uh, a uh, non-blinking Ewok. <laughs> hey, now. Um, so I guess I don't have to ask your favorite part of the movie. Okay. What do you think my favorite part of the movie is? The Ewoks. Yeah, but the Ewoks aren't a part. They're a character. They sound like little cats, too. <laughs> they do. <laughs> the beginning of the movie is creepy, though, like... The, with Java and how he like Java, is that uh, <laughs> is that Java the Hutt's coffee drinking uh, cousin? <laughs> oh, oh, Java! Shut up. <laughs> he's, but he doesn't just sit around. He just sit around. He uh, he's always slithering all over the place. Oh, I got things to do. I'm okay. Java. Java the Hutt. Java, yeah. <laughs> but he ha- he he had Leia on like a chain, like a dog collar on her neck and she's sleeping at his feet like a dog and Very like sexualized yeah too. it was scary like do you think he did stuff to her i think he wanted to but like i don't even know how a slug man like that gets turned on by a <laughs> human woman right and how's he gonna have sex with her it's none of it makes sense no it's gross 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 i think it's more like he's supposed she's supposed to be like an animal or whatever but yeah he had that other one too that other that other dancing girl yeah who then tried to get away, tried to like pull out of the Then he chain. killed her. Then he threw her down to the Rancor. The Rancor? That's the name of that, that uh, animal, the, the monster hmm. that Luke kills. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Like, the whole thing was, it's a good movie. Like, I like all it's of an it. excellent movie. Except for the space fighting. It's my favorite. My favorite of the movies. What was your favorite part of the movie? The space fighting. <laughs> no, really. That's a big part of it. The whole third act, like I said, the three different things that are going on at once. Um, but if I, I mean, like, if I had to single out one, the 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 lightsaber battle between Luke and Darth Vader is probably the best one. Yeah. There's so much like emotion, depth. It's everything's been culminating to that. That that meaning uh, confrontation between the two of them. Is he going to turn bad? Is he not? I, I noticed they purposely put him in black, mm-hmm. black robes and black uh, like outfit. I think to kind of like put it in your mind that maybe he will turn evil. Well, I think it was probably pretty hard for him not to. It seemed like it was hard. Did it? Didn't it? His pants were pretty tight, so you should be able to. Oh, my God. So gross. You're so gross. I don't know. It didn't seem like it was that difficult for him. Okay. Because he's just like, he didn't want Leia to be turned to the dark side or whatever. That's the thing that got him to, that spurred him on to fight. Right. And 
Then, but like after he, he did seem pretty pissed because he was just fucking wailing on Vader at one point until mm-hmm. he cut his hand off. And then he, he, but when the, the emperor is like, oh, good. He's like, nah. good, good, good. So evil. Ugh. He's like, nah, nah, I don't want to be on the dark side. He's like, oh, I'm just electrocute you then. And then he said, please. And his dad was like, well. Did say please. Mm-hmm. So they picked him up and threw him down a fucking shaft. That was awesome. That was that was maybe my favorite moment, right there. When he's like, ah. <laughs> so what do you think killed him? Um, I think there must have been like some kind of like reactor or something like that down there. I mean, who the fuck knows? They're in a throne room and there's just an open uh, fucking thing you can just huck somebody down <laughs> and it goes down to what, I don't know, some power source? What the fuck was that? Why would you have a throne room with that thing in it? That's true. What? But I mean like um, Darth Vader? Like, what do you think made him die? It didn't seem very clear to me like why he died. Oh, so, um... He was still shooting that lightning shit, mm-hmm. and since his his suit is all like electronic and stuff, I think the electricity went through it and like shorted out like his life support system. So that's interesting. Oh, I'm I'm interested in how he ends up in need of such a thing. Well, yeah, that's and that's hopefully that's something we see in the. The prequel series, too, because, you know, eventually they'll have to get him in that suit. Yeah. Maybe, maybe like, the first movie will be kind of, like, how he becomes Darth Vader. And then the second movie can be, like, you know, him becoming more evil and, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. I can't believe we got to wait two years, at least. Yeah, two years. And then, you know. At least. I mean, that's what they're saying. Who knows? And then who knows how long between each movie, you know. Yeah. The first time it was three years, 77, 80, 83. That's what they, that's when they came out three years hmm. between each film. So if it's the same here, then it'd be 99, 2002, 2005. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah. Who knows where we'll be in 2005? Could, could be could married, be, could have kids. Could be living in Orange, Orange County. <laughs> could have followed the money to Orange County. Right. But yeah, that's uh, that's the episode. We we liked this movie. That's still in theaters. It's awesome to see it on the big screen. Obviously, go out and see it. These not every re-release I think is worth it. They they keep re-release. Well, they did. They don't anymore. But they kept re-releasing like Gone with the Wind and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They kept re- re-releasing The Wizard of Oz. And those I get because back then when they would re-release them in like the forties and the fifties. And stuff like even the sixties. That was a time before you could watch them on TV. Right there, there weren't videotapes and stuff like that. So they'd re-release them because it's like, oh, you know, come back and see it again because people love these movies. Um, but they re-release some movies, and it's like, eh, I can just watch that on videotape. These movies, and obviously they did some some changes to to you know change things, but. Uh, these movies need to be seen on the big screen. Yeah. It, it enhances it to see them on the big screen. For sure. But yeah. Oh, they did make a change, too, that I hated. Hmm. At the beginning when there's a, they added some fucking uh, CGI abomination singing a song <laughs> in Jabba's <laughs> Palace, which was horrifying. Yeah, it was not good. It's like, that's not, that's no, no, that's no good. <laughs> Um, my God, I hope that's not a uh, preview of what they're going to do in the prequel. That's what I'm saying. I'm a little nervous. Um, no, they won't. They they wouldn't do that. Um, so anyway, but uh, that uh, that is our episode, Kara. Why don't you uh, why don't you tell everybody where they can go find any walk? Where they can go fuck themselves? Okay. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> sorry. No, she I does want not speak for a uh, massive leap. I want to find an Ewok. Actually, I want I want a stuffed Ewok. Um. Anyway. <laughs> you can uh, write us at latefee1994 at AWOL.com mm-hmm. and go to our website at www.retrolatefee.com. Do that too. And uh, share the tapes with your friends. All right, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.